I'm also pumped that it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like hot. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Comic Con Suite. I'm Sam Heifel, and I am joined by two of the cast and the creator of Teen Wolf, the movie. Also Teen Wolf, but we're here to talk about Teen Wolf the movie. Yes. Um, okay, Jeff, I want to start because I remember even back when Teen Wolf was ending, we were already talking about like, Podcast. There were like other iterations of the story. If yeah, there was, a there was a podcast that was maybe happening. So, Teen Wolf Living On was kind of like always a discussion. I feel like. Yes. How did this particular, like this movie, this iteration, come about for you? Well, it was really uh, Chris McCarthy at MTV. He wanted to bring it back, and he did the sort of unthinkable, which was get MTV and MGM aligned, <laughs> and he made it happen. And I had a deal with Paramount Plus, and they said. Um, they said, we're going to do a Teen Wolf movie. And I said, with me? <laughs> <laughs> what if they were like, no. And they're like, yes. <laughs> and, they asked, and they actually asked me, do you want to write it? And I said, or do you want to shepherd it? And I thought about someone else writing Teen Wolf, uh, the movie, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm writing it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we all got None in None of us would have done it if somebody else wrote it. Yeah, <laughs> it would have been strange. <laughs> yeah. So um, it was, it was uh, sort of all coming together. And... Getting uh, pretty much all the cast back was uh, exciting to me, and, and revisiting the characters. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Ditto. <laughs> so ditto. Well, what can you tell us about like what's actually happening in this movie? Mm. You'll know a lot more when the trailer is released this yes, afternoon. Yes, very soon. Ooh. So Ooh. you will see. I'll give a little tease of that. <laughs> yeah. It's Comic Con. We got to yeah. show something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but these two are back in a big way, and we get to see them in their lives later. I can tell you that uh, it's a jump in time ahead. Okay. So we actually see an older Scott McCall. Scott McCall is now older than Tyler Posey. Right. Oh. And I've always, I've always been older than Scott McCall. That's weird. It's is very that weird, weird for you? It's cool. Yeah. It's, it's nice, you know? You have to like, up the maturity yeah, a little I've bit. Yeah, I've always played like a teenager my entire life, so now it's nice to play a 30 plus year old, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that does. How has Scott changed since we last saw him? Aside from just age. Oh man, I think Beacon Hills royally messed him up, and I think <laughs> and, I, and I think I think sure. everybody else that you know was living there, yeah. except for Peter Hale. I think he thrives <laughs> in, in Beacon Hills so. as Ian yeah. Bowen thrives. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, but Scott's wanted to make a change. You know, he's he he lives in Los Angeles now. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. <laughs> scary, it's scary having him here. Uh, yeah. He wanted to get out, you know, try a new life, try something else on for size, um, you know, maybe step away from the leadership role a little bit. You know, I think as great of a leader as Scott was innately and in, instinctually, it, it's confusing growing up in that world, you know, and, and, and it discovering... Takes a toll. It takes a toll. Discovering who you are as a human, as an adult, while also trying to save the world, you know, you kind of need to like sacrifice one for the other. Sure. Um, so he wanted to figure himself out, discover himself a little bit, and I think he's a little bit more relaxed when we when we first pick him up, you know, and, and it's a definitely a different version of him. Um, but then he might have to resort to old ways <laughs> if, if Beacon Hills calls him, yeah. summons him back. That was good. That was Thanks, good. Man. That transition. The dramatic It's the turn. coffee. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, I have a similar question for Derek though, because yeah. I have to say. When I got the release that was like playing Derek's son, I gasped. It also made me feel very old, but it's fine. Um, obviously, how is Derek as a dad? Um, <clears throat> you'll see. You'll see. Uh, you know, it's just ups and downs, but um, it's a lot of fun. I mean, with anything like with TV, the, the greatest thing that the writers and showrunners can give you is, you know, new things to play with each season. And Jeff was always so great about that. And so coming back for the movie... Um, we wanted to do the same thing, like have something new for him that was an evolution. Because I, I really loved where Derek started on the show mm -hmm. and where his story kind of ended. For me, it was a very, very well-told, full story told. So yeah. um, I thought it was a great thing to come back as a father and for his new challenge to not be about himself and figuring out who he was, but trying to guide his son through that same that same process. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Derek yeah. has basically the biggest character arc Absolutely. in the show. Yeah. Yeah, he starts out as pretty much a bad guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and is sort of a villain in season two and then gradually makes a turn. And we all wanted to see what would Derek be like as a dad. Mm. Yeah. You know, is he a good dad? Is he, a, is he an okay dad? Or has he got <laughs> some issues? Um, and one of, the two th one of the things that was great about this as well is both Tyler's are producers on the movie as well. So they got to have a hand in, in making the movie, and Tyler was there to cast his son. 
So, yeah, it's very, very fun. I've been very lucky to be doing this job for most of my life, so it's yeah. been over over 25 years now, which is crazy. Um, I mean, for Posey, too. Like, we've both yeah. been doing it since we were kids. So um, to be on the other side of that and to see all these young kids coming in and sending in great tapes and then being able to read with them on the, you know, it was COVID and I was shooting them somewhere else. So, like, he directed Zoom them things. Too. Jeff was very kind to let me direct them in the in the uh, chemistry reads, which was really fun. So I uh, really, really enjoyed that. And uh, Vince Mattis is the kid who ended up playing uh, my son, Eli, and he's yeah. fantastic. Uh, great kid, great actor, and we were lucky to have him. So, um, yeah, very, very fun and new, exciting challenges to, to kind of play with. The yeah. producer role looks good on you, dude. You, wear it, you wear it so well, Thanks, and I'm just, I'm just very proud of you and happy for you. Thanks, man. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Love you, bud. I will say, I rewatched the pilot not that long ago, and Derek has come a long way from just like being that guy in the in the freaking shadows, hanging out <laughs> behind the trees, standing yeah. there in the woods, just standing there like staring at them. Little do we know that Derek was actually peeing in the woods before all the time. <laughs> before, 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 before there, oh yeah. god, they're, yeah, they're here every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Obviously, we know Styles is missing from this movie. Yes. Is he there? What can you? I mean, you've written seasons of the show without Styles as well. Is he? Like, all I want to know is, is Stydia okay? Like, what is... <laughs> the, the movie does answer the question of what happened to Stydia. So okay. you, you're going to have to watch. And, um, like and Styles, while he isn't in the movie, is ever-present in the movie. Yeah. So he certainly... I mean, these characters, they all leave an influence. So sure. um, there's, no, there's no way we could have done it without mentioning him, <laughs> or at least referencing. Sure. Um, but uh, all the other characters are there, too, and it's... You'll see some familiar faces. Yeah. We're yeah. excited about that, too. Well, I do have to ask. I know you probably can't tell me how, but, like, how... Uh, maybe I'll pose this to you, Posey. Oh, no. We don't know how Allison is back, but obviously Crystal's in the movie. We know that. Yes. How does that affect Scott? Yeah, in a big way. Definitely. <laughs> Great answer. Great answer. Huge. <laughs> Huge way. Massive. Um, you know, uh, Allison meant the most to Scott. Yeah. You know, out of anybody he's been with, and I think tried to recreate that in other relationships, and never could. And I think we, I think we tend to do that as humans. You know, we try to a relationship really, you know, worked for us, or or there were moments of it that we that we miss, and now we try to maybe recapture that in other relationships. And I think Scott has been trying to do that. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a big deal for sure. Yeah. That's all I can say. <laughs> that was good. That was good. You did okay, that. Cool. Not another right. goddamn word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the trailer's coming soon, people. Um, I will let you guys go, but thank you thank for you. stopping thank by. Thank you. Great to be back with you guys. Great to see you again. For everybody else, stay tuned to EW.com for all your Comic-Con needs.